Uh, good morning, Justin Gibbs here at the National Weather Service in Paducah once again to give you a, uh, a video update on where we're at today. Not much has changed in the overall forecast. Uh, at this point, we're still expecting showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and into this evening. Uh, what I've got pulled up right here is a look at our satellite and the instability, how much energy there is in the atmosphere. It's building as the heat and the sun build in this afternoon. It's not as high as it was yesterday, but it's still pretty high. The difference today, uh, we've got a bigger, larger scale storm system coming in from the west that's going to provide better lift, better shear, better organization. So once storms get going, yesterday everything went up, it's big and nasty, and then it sort of collapsed. And it kind of, it had trouble holding itself together. We think today the storms are going to have a little easier time organizing. Right now on the radar, we have some thunder in uh, Henry County and Weekly County, Tennessee. Uh, it's been close to severe at times. It's been producing a little bit of hail. Let's see what we've got down here. Large trees down uh, in Madison County, Tennessee. One inch hail, so nothing too crazy. Let's track it off to the northeast. There's an area of lift out ahead here that's going to that will probably push into parts of uh, the purchase area in the Pinnell region of Kentucky, and it's possible that that will set this area will set thunderstorms off over the next two or three hours. And then there's areas of clouds building over the south central Missouri. And then the main storm system here back to the west. That hasn't started anything yet, but if you look real closely, you can see that storm system hasn't quite worked into the more unstable air. Generally, what we're expecting is uh, thunderstorms to pick up probably starting about 2 or 3 o'clock in southeast Missouri. And it may already be trying to get going there in Reynolds County, Missouri. Uh, and then organizing getting a little better organized, perhaps forming into a line. If it forms into a line, that'll give us a better chance at damaging wind, 60 to 70 miles an hour. The individual cells will produce hail, occasionally up to golf ball size, perhaps. We don't expect like baseballs like we had yesterday in the Marion area in Williamson County, Johnson County. We had some big hail in uh, Hopkins County, Kentucky as well. Probably not that. A little more concerned about wind and perhaps a brief tornado, given that the shear is going to be a little bit stronger today. We're not talking about a tornado outbreak where there's going to be long track, you know, EF4 tornadoes or anything, but we're talking about damaging wind, large hail potentially, and then also possibly some flooding rains uh, as we go through the uh, rest of the afternoon. And we'll watch this area. I won't be surprised if that has a little trouble to get going for another couple, two or three hours. Uh, but honestly, if we can get things to go now, it would be better because it's less time for the heat to build up, which will be less instability. Uh, and uh, it gives us a chance to maybe not quite have as much impact as we go through the day. Uh, this, we drew, put this out a little bit ago. This was sort of the yellow zones. This area here near Marion that was along a boundary, that hasn't gone. Uh, I don't think it's going to now. We put this out a couple hours ago. Uh, and then this storm has long since cleared. But that little yellow zone here, Madisonville, Hopkinsville, Murray, could see some storms in the next few hours. And then we're going to shift our attention back to the west uh, for thunderstorms moving in from the east. Uh, and we've also got a flood watch that we've issued for Evansville, Owensboro, part of Gibson County, Pike County, Indiana, Warwick, Spencer County, and Henderson County, Kentucky. Not necessarily that we're going to get that much more rain, but because we've had so much rain, it's not going to take very much for flooding in the area. We've also issued a heat advisory, so I can find the graphic for that. Yeah, heat advisory here for parts of southeast Missouri, southwest Illinois, western Kentucky for heat index values over 105, not as miserably punishingly hot as it was yesterday, but still uh, to where you need to take care of yourself. And you, you need to be careful outside today everywhere. Don't be going too crazy. Uh, but we did add that heat advisor here this morning because they're getting a little bit more sunshine. You can see that on the satellite. All the clouds are starting to fill in now. That may give us a bit of a break. Uh, but all these clouds look kind of uh, thunderstorm-like. Let me switch to one of a different image that'll make it easier to see. The orange are more thunderstorms. You can see a little top going up there, one going up over Arkansas. Nothing much going in this activity, but we're going to watch it and see how it goes. Uh, and the models are generally saying like 4 to 7 p.m. is the peak. We'll be surprised if it's a little earlier than that, but somewhere in that ballpark uh, is where the more organized thunderstorms are expected kind of late this afternoon and this evening. And then the threat may persist overnight, especially parts across parts of western Kentucky where we have thunderstorms around. It's not going to be the most severe necessarily, but um, as unstable and hot and humid as we are, it just doesn't take much 
uh, to get some wind damage and, and that type of activity. And then we'll have a risk persisting into tomorrow that will be determined mainly by how much thunder we get today. If we get a ton of thunder, we get a big line, a big, big line that clears us out, I think it'll lower our chances for tomorrow a little bit. But until we get that big scouring front, or scouring line of thunderstorms, we're going to remain in a state where we're going to see things bubble up. Uh, and it's very difficult, as far as the models are concerned, to pick up where everything is at. It's just not, uh, it's hard to model an individual thunderstorm that's only five or six miles across in the computer to get it to calculate everything that it needs to. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Hopefully we'll have a, uh, we'll get through without much trouble today, but be prepared. And I'm, I'm also worried in Southwest Indiana, where we've had so much rain in Hopkins County, Kentucky, that it's going to be easier to bring trees down. So be careful of that as the wind storms get even a 40 or 50 mile an hour wind gust probably get up roots some trees given how much, how saturated that the ground is. Other areas, it'll probably be a little bit tougher uh, to get those trees knocked out and get the major damage. But keep an eye on it as we go through the afternoon. We're probably still a little ways from watches uh, and warnings, except right along the Kentucky Tennessee border, we could see some warnings if those storms intensify. Uh, the Kentucky Tennessee border, uh, but organized watches are probably still a few hours out. We'll keep an eye on it and we'll post updates as we can. Everyone have a uh, pleasant Saturday and stay cool.